again, everybody. Barry Hyatt here in Scottsville at the UK Extension Office with my good buddy, Janet Johnson, who this time of year, I know you're thinking more about basketball than you are cooking, probably. Is that I right? am, but time out, time out <laughs> yeah. for Super Snacks for Games, if yeah. you're watching on TV. So that's what we're doing today, Barry. But yes, it's we are absorbed in Kentucky by basketball, whether it's mm -hmm. high school basketball, oh, sure. yeah college basketball we do love our basketball here but we do have a super bowl coming up here pretty that's soon true. which of course is football and this uh, recipe would be great for that wouldn't it exactly and that's what we're doing today we're kind of continuing the holiday season doing a party food but mm -hmm. it's a great snack food sure and it's one that you can make ahead put in the refrigerator and then pull it out and actually bake it mm -hmm. to have a hot snack so it's an alternative to just your chips and dips and it looks really fun to make. Oh, it is. It is. And we're going to sneak in some vegetables today. Yeah. yeah you now, know, what's the name of this, by the way? I this is a cauliflower mushroom popper. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So Cauliflower and mushroom Yes, together, we're going right? to pop those okay. in. It's just, you know, a bite-sized snack, so okay. it's all about portion control, you mm -hmm. know, eating so many. Sure. But it's a, it's a really easy party food to do. So I'm going to show you kind of basically how to work with mm -hmm. mushrooms and the stuffing. But, as we said, instead of a traditional stuffing, where you're doing totally the breadcrumbs and butter and mm -hmm. that, we're going to switch it up and we're going to add some moisture by doing some cauliflower that we mash okay. to add some moisture, get some good nutrients in there, and low mm -hmm. fat, great low fat. Outstanding. Yeah, good so deal. here we go. Let's talk about it. Okay, so we're starting this, of course, with two vegetables in that we're doing cauliflower and we're doing mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Now, many people look at mushrooms and they're used to the white mushrooms. Mm -hmm the moral mushrooms, etc. that are, these are a little easier to work with and these are called portabella mushrooms. Sure. Heard of those? Yeah. They have more fiber, so they're more meaty. Mm -hmm. You see these a lot with vegetarian dishes yes. because of the um, tendency to have the texture of meat. Okay. So they're, they're very good. But that makes them a great popper because mm -hmm. they have great structure and mm -hmm. they don't cook away. Right. And they hold the stuffing. So More sturdy maybe, I guess. They are sturdy, yeah. yes. Yes, they're very sturdy. So I, if you want to do the poppers, in other words, one bite, you would look for the baby portobello mushrooms okay. because the large ones, they're huge. They're really big, but these are perfect to stuff. And in order to do that, Barry, have you ever worked and stuffed a mushroom before? No, I haven't. Okay. And you were trying to show me here before we started this, and I thought, well, that sounds pretty easy, Yeah, actually. well, yeah. okay, so kind of take one, and yeah. we're going to do this. Okay. Uh, if you've never done this, and we don't want to treat you like you don't know anything, but sometimes... But you we may be like me. <laughs> you see things, but you're like, well, how do you really do that? And yeah. you get that empty. So you start, and you kind of take a hold of the cap. So you have a mm -hmm. cap and a stem yes. on the mushroom. So you kind of hold it very gently and then twist mm -hmm. the cap or the stem off. Okay. And see? I was not gentle enough, was But I? that's okay. That's okay. That happens. So hold on to the stems mm -hmm. and chop those up and then put those in your freezer because you can add those to spaghetti sauce, mm -hmm. all kinds of things. Right. Or stir fry. Sure. So oh, don't throw those away. So now what I'm going to take. Now tell everybody what this spoon is. Yes, this, this precious little spoon was Andy Johnson's first baby spoon. Your daughter. Yes, my daughter. Her first baby spoon. Her first baby spoon. It's got her little name on it. And we won't time, say how old the spoon is. Well, it's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's not an antique, and she would cringe to hear she, us talking yeah, about exactly. this. exactly. But it has when she was born at 4.45 in the morning. Wow. Yeah. And her name and her date of birth on there. So How she neat. ate her first little baby food bites. You know, with this. So, But it's perfect for stuffing mushrooms, too. Mm -hmm. Because so what are you getting ready to do now? I'm getting it? ready to kind of increase the capacity for stuffing. So we're taking part of the inside out. Yes. What she's doing. We're going in. And we're just kind of showing. And we'll show you how to do this a little more. And I'm just kind of scraping around and kind of scooping out very gently mm -hmm. more of the mushroom cap yes. so that I increase the capacity of the mushroom inside. Yes. And mm -hmm. we can see how, how much more that you can get by doing that when you take all of the stem out. Now be very careful because as you see, just like you twisted Barry twisted, and yeah. I did mm -hmm. too, the mushrooms, the smaller they are, the easier they crack right. or break. And that's why you really want these portobellos because they're, as you said, sturdy. Now, you said you also could use a knife, but you'd have to be extremely careful. You have to be you? very, very careful. The blade tends to cut deeper, yes. and it's just a little harder. So mm -hmm. use like the tip of a kitchen knife or mm -hmm. a little spoon like this one. 
something you can insert in or a little butter knife, butter knife might work as that, well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, where you've got something with an edge like that. Okay, so you can see that in order to bake these in the oven, we have taken an oven safe dish, of course, yes. depending on how many you do. Now the recipe that we are showing people, it's for a party. Okay, sure. It takes a whole head of cauliflower and 60 mushrooms. So say, several mushrooms. For you're sure. fixing yeah. a lot of mushrooms there. So I take a half and then I go down another half. So mm -hmm. that we're just doing, but you can do tiny portions like this too. You can do right. just a few, you know, and then we'll adjust the portions of the ingredients that you'll show to do that. Mm -hmm. But we've taken and we've taken the stems out and we have uh, taken more out of the mushrooms. We've got those in a baking dish that we have sprayed sure. for ease. Yep. And now we're ready to do the filling and that's where we're going to work with cauliflower. Now cauliflower uh, is a great vegetable to hide from children or people that say, I don't like vegetables. Mm -hmm because it's white, it mashes up, it kind of looks like potatoes, it does, doesn't it? most certainly, yes. It's a lot like potatoes, and even when you're mashing it, you could kind of pretend like they are. Mm -hmm. But it's very low fat, it's a cruciferous vegetable. It's, just, it's a cousin to broccoli. What does that mean exactly? Well, that means that it has a, a, a lot of beta carotene sometimes, okay. or a lot of vitamin C. It's a family of specific types of vegetables. Brussels sprouts, mm -hmm. cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower. All same family. They're all in that cruciferous family. Okay. They are. So we've used a fancy word today to just talk about something, a family. Something yes. Yeah. Yes, the like the time. Hyatt family or the Johnson family. <laughs> yes, exactly. But you usually get a lot of cauliflower. That's why with this recipe it's using the whole head of cauliflower. But the reality is you don't really have to do all that. And today mm -hmm. I just, as you can see, took a few florets because this was a large head of cauliflower. That's a big, yeah. Big it one, was. Sure. It's a value purchase because I like to put broccoli and cauliflower together and steam that for a side dish. So sure. I went ahead and purchased a value purchase and then you can cut these off and you can even blanch this and freeze it as sure. well. Sure. So uh, good value. And so, and it's also a good spring vegetable coming too. Right. So watch for that. So we've got cauliflower and I have, have got, I would say about a cup and a half of cauliflower now. Okay. Okay. If we were going to measure anywhere a cup to cup and a half. And I've actually steamed it so it came out just like you expect cauliflower to come. I even microwave mine. Okay. Now the directions in the recipe will talk about using a steamer pan over a pan of water. I just put it in a microwave safe dish, add a little water, cover with a plastic uh, wrap. Sure put it in the microwave about three minutes, it's ready. That sounds and the very same, simple, yeah. Very simple, so I don't have as many pans to work with. Exactly. And we're gonna try to mix in this pan too. Okay, sure. So, there we go, a little cleanup. So I've just taken a hand potato masher and we're just trying to mash up the cauliflower so that it mm -hmm. does kind of look like a potato before mm -hmm. you add mm -hmm. ingredients. Now we're going to add some ingredients and with stuffing, for any kind of stuffing, usually there's a dairy product, like there's sour cream, or there's cream cheese mm -hmm. in some recipes, or a combination of mayo, sour cream, cream cheese, right. which adds some calories. Here we're going with a low-fat sour cream. But as the recipe says, you can also use plain yogurt. Okay. That cuts your fat even more. Janet tends to like the texture of this lower-fat sour cream a little better than the yogurt. Now that's mm -hmm. just me, mm -hmm. you know. But you can definitely lower the fat even more. But no flavored yogurt, just plain yogurt, right. you're saying. Right. I would get a Greek yogurt. Okay. If I were gonna get, today I'm doing the sour cream, but I would almost get a Greek yogurt because it has the texture, mm -hmm. more so, of this sour cream. Okay. So we're gonna add uh, about the equivalent of anywhere from two tablespoons to a fourth of a cup, two to four okay. tablespoons. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna start with that, with this recipe. I'm just going to make up a stuffing and I'll adjust as I go. Now I'm going to add breadcrumbs, and that's pretty standard with stuffed pet, uh, mushrooms. Mm -hmm. It's some type of breadcrumb. Okay. A lot of times they'll take the breadcrumbs and they'll put melted butter on those. Okay. Well, we're not putting the butter. You know, we're trying we're, to be as healthy as we can. We're trying to be as healthy as we can. So we're going to put some panko breadcrumbs. Are you familiar with the Japanese breadcrumbs? I am not. Well, these have a little more texture to them, and you can get them seasoned, non-seasoned. You can buy all kinds of breadcrumbs. You cannot buy a whole wheat breadcrumb 
So okay. how would you get whole wheat bread crumbs? Right. Well, you could toast whole wheat toast and crumble it. And crumble it up, yeah. Or you can take brand cereal and do a food processor. Okay. And you can get, again, a really fibrous bread crumb if you really want to be into that. And I really um, feel like that would be a good option with the portobello mushrooms. Just take a little bit more time. Than, it would take than a little more time than do this. There. So I'm doing the convenient thing today, but the brand uh, bread crumbs or crumbs are a great option to add texture and would fit that meaty, sturdy mushroom. <laughs> okay, so word we're... Word for the day, sturdy. Yeah, the word <laughs> for the day is sturdy. And see, you can start mixing this and then as you begin to look at it, you can say, well, maybe a little more sour cream mm -hmm. or like that. So that's why we're starting with just a couple of uh, tablespoons or th about three tablespoons and then we're going to do more. You can mixes. always add more if you want more. But, Absolutely. But if you put too much to begin with then you're pretty you're much out of luck. Yeah, you are. You're in trouble. Now another thing that we're going to do to add moisture to, and this truly is a part of uh, Good Stuff Mushrooms, is to add some cheese. Mm -hmm. This recipe calls for a cheddar, okay. which would be great if you could just grate a little fresh cheddar. Sure. And when I say fresh, I'm talking about some cheddar that you grate instead of buying it grated. Right and that makes sure you've got great cheese. Now I'm gonna do Parmesan and some cheddar. I'll tell you at home, I also got an Italian blend of cheeses. Okay. That were four white cheeses and they, they were delicious. <laughs> so, so that would you, probably work too. Then. Yes, it would, yes. absolutely. So we're adding that, so breadcrumbs, cheeses, mm -hmm. and we can put a little more sour, sour cream, cream if mm -hmm. we need to, and I'm gonna add a little bit more there just to get the texture going here. And then for more vegetables and color, I'm gonna let you put those little diced red, red peppers. peppers. which I love yeah. yeah. So let's put a little bit of that in the here. Whole container? Yeah, we can probably do that. That's okay. uh, probably about three tablespoons for this proportion. Okay. Now the recipe will tell you to use pretty much a cup and in most cases that is chopping one pepper, a cup. Okay. But to add variety, you can mix green and red. Mm -hmm. I'm just doing red today, but we I could add you green. Put yellow peppers in there too. Oh, or sure orange, you could. You? Sure you could. Mm -hmm. The only thing about the yellow, if your cheese is, if you're using the cheddar, okay. you kind of repeat your colors okay. so that you're not going to have the stand out like green and red. But you could. Sure, sure. Could. I'm sure you could. Okay, so you can see that we have kind of a stuffing mixture right here, mm -hmm. and I might tell you that if you want to just bake this as a casserole, yum yum yum. Could do that as well, yeah. Another thing, this filling makes a great casserole side. Now I'm going to add a little bit of seasoned salt because you know I'd be loving some seasoned salt, don't we, Barry? <laughs> that and cinnamon. That and <laughs> cinnamon, yes, we do love those spices here in Scottsville. Yeah, so a little seasoned salt, a little pepper to this as well, and you can even add some garlic powder if your other spices do not have that. Mm -hmm. So we can do that too here in just a minute. Now is it kind of tough to mix it all up in a, such a small container? Well, if I weren't so lazy, I would have mixed this <laughs> in another deep container. You just want to have to wash another dish, basically. I'm trying to be lazy. Hey, there, look, you I know. don't blame you. There you go. I'm but you. yes, it is much harder to do that. Yes, you're mm -hmm. right, because it's a little harder for it not to spill over. Now, if you wanted to make even more, you could put more ingredients, I suppose, in there. In a oh, dish, yes, right? and mm -hmm. the recipe that you're going to show everybody, once again, will give you proportions for 60 poppers. Okay. Okay? So I'm just cutting this down to a smaller uh, recipe mm -hmm. for today's show because we're not gonna do 60 poppers. No, no. But you also can at home do much less. Mm -hmm. So you could do half or you do a fourth like we're doing today. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then what's left is to go back to the baby spoon and you just simply take your mushrooms and you just fill the mushroom in the cavity that we've created. Quite simple. And you want to put enough stuffing. You don't wanna to put too much, but you wanna kinda of round it up, mm -hmm. you know, kinda of like so. And we've got that ready and then you just keep going and like i said if you have excess beyond your capacity for mushrooms you can just bake it in a tiny little baking dish as a side mm -hmm. you don't waste a thing so we would fill this baking dish and then we would bake at 325 for approximately 20 minutes and, and then, then we have a final product. Here yes, too, we do. We? And I even did some little tiny ones to show people that, um, and it just depends on where you buy your baby portobellas. Mm -hmm. These little uh, mushrooms came from Food Line here in Scottsville. Mm -hmm. And then these today that we're using actually came from Kroger in Bowling Green. So okay. 
they're often different sizes, mm -hmm. but the little tiny ones make nice little poppers, little mm -hmm. mini poppers, sure. and, and they're really nice for a party. So these make a great thing. Now you might notice that you, some people may be saying, well, what's that red on the top? Well, before I put them in the oven, I sprinkle them with paprika, only I like smoked paprika. Okay. Now that is a great flavor agent. A little goes a long way, but it's such an impact. So mm -hmm. invest in a little smoked paprika <laughs> and try that beyond what you normally use. So that's that's your party food of the day. And it really doesn't doing. take that long to prepare, does no, it? No, no, it doesn't. It, it looks a little, comp but it's not. It's not complicated at all. You're using the microwave for the cauliflower. Mm -hmm. Just a little dicing on the pepper, assemble your ingredients, kind of pop those little mushroom stems, right. scoop out, not not hard to do at all, and then just fill them up and kind now, of do that. How long did that. you say to bake that again? I forgot what you 325, said. 325, approximately 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Depending so on the size mm -hmm. of your mushrooms that okay. you've stuffed. Sure. Obviously, the larger ones will take a little a longer, longer than the smaller ones will. Sure. So that's it. Well, great. It's, it's going to be great. I have a feeling. We'll, we'll, we'll sample these here just in a moment. Yes. But uh, hey, if you guys want this recipe, it's oh so easy to get. You can get it in one of two ways. You can email me at North Central. My email address there is barry.hyatt at nctc.com. Or simply just go to our website. That address is www.nctc.com. We will make sure not only the recipe is on there, but also the, this uh, video as well. And you can see yeah. exactly how Janet put it all together. And again, quite simple. Very simple, Barry. Well, guys, thanks so much Thank for watching you. again, and take care. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you back, in, back again here real soon. Bye-bye.